Joining us now to talk more about inflation and whether the rise we've seen is temporary or not is Sarah Bloom Raskin. She's a former deputy treasury secretary, also a former Federal Reserve governor. She's also a distinguished fellow at Duke University School of Law and a CNBC contributor. And Sarah, what do you think? I, I like what Steve just uh, used, the phrase inflation serenity. Is that how you see things right now or are you a little more concerned? Well, um, let me tell you, the Fed certainly does not seem to be super concerned, right? Because um, what we have seen is real price pressure, right? There's price pressure in terms of, of, of cars, particularly used cars. There's price pressure in terms of air travel. So there are particular areas that are really, um, really pushing the inflation numbers up higher than anybody, I would say, expected. That said, you see the Fed really holding firm, really trying to see through this increase as purely transitory. Um, some of them are actually saying welcome, like they're happy to be seeing this, uh, this increase. So uh, the Fed is looking through it and um, looking right past it. And right now, it appears as if markets are doing the same. Um, as uh, Steve pointed out, the 10-year uh, treasuries um, did not react particularly um, strongly to the CPI news. Um, and at the same time, you are seeing the Fed starting to talk about a little bit of uh, movement away from the extraordinary measures that were put in place during the pandemic. You know, just the inflationary picture, it, it, it's something that everybody's noticing these days. You're paying more at the gas pump. You're paying more at the grocery store. You're paying more if you go to a restaurant. Um, and, and there are a lot of different factors for that. Some of them may fade away. Some of them may not. But even things like looking at car prices, if you're waiting to buy either a new or a used car, you're going to have to wait a very long time to see if those prices actually come back down, if they ever do. I know it was caused by the, the global chip shortage, um, but once prices remain elevated, let's say for another six months or beyond, do you think that those prices will eventually come back down to earth? Same thing with the grocery prices. Yeah, and I think it's going to be like product by product. It's going to depend really on the stickiness, essentially, of the demand in face of higher prices, whether, in fact, that demand stays high, whether the supply stays limited. Uh, those kind of forces will ultimately determine whether the price is going to be transitory, as many people think, or whether it will stick. And if it does stick, of course, that's going to pinch. There will be a pinch. Um, and uh, that will be something that, um, you know, moves us into a place that is actually um, harder for many, many American families. I know it's a weird question, but, but and almost an impossible question to answer, but what's temporary? If we're still looking at price increases eight, ten months down the road, do we still just say, don't worry, it's temporary? Yeah, it's a great question, and it's not been defined. Um, it's certainly not a technical term. Um, yeah. So uh, the, the term has been used quite a bit, temporary, transitory, fleeting. Um, and so it is hard to know exactly uh, what, uh, what speakers have in mind when they use the term. Um, I, I will say that we will get an indication next week when the Federal Open Market Committee puts out after their meeting, they'll put out their statement of economic projections. So we will have a sense as to the extent to which they view this transitory nature of price increases, because they're going to project when they start to think interest rates, the Fed funds rate, will need to rise. So we'll start to see movement um, in terms of their views on what exactly that term means, temporary. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.